chocolate fudge made with real chocolate and no powdered milk. Let's see how. Hi, I'm Robert and today I want to show you a very good chocolate fudge recipe made with real chocolate and that takes just 4 minutes to make. We start the recipe and you'll see just how easily it goes. In a bowl, I added 500 grams of sweetened condensed milk and uh, 530 grams of dark chocolate. I use 55% cocoa chocolate. The sweet condensed milk is well sweet and so the darker the chocolate is, um, the more the final product will be less sweet and better tasting. Um, in anticipation of your questions, I didn't try this recipe with white or milk chocolate, but I assume it would be very sweet and soft, so you would need to add more chocolate than this. If you want to try, add more chocolate, something like one and a half times the quantity or even more. Okay, on top of these, I am adding 30 grams of pistachio and 30 grams of almonds that I roasted and chopped. Here, for the add-ons, you can play with whatever you want, whatever you have. You can add nuts, pecans, hazelnuts, dried plums, dried apricots, whatever you have, whatever you like. You can add more or less. And I will also add 30 grams of candied orange peel. Ok, these are the ingredients, I'll put the bowl on a double boiler, just a saucepan with water that I will heat up and the steam will heat and melt the chocolate and I'll mix everything. I talked too much in the beginning, I feel it because I'm breathing hard. Ok, the chocolate has melted, so I'll pour the mix in a 20 by 20 cm tray that I lined with cling film, so it's easier to remove the fudge when it hardens. If you don't have a tray exactly like this, it's not that important, just uh, use any container that is not too tall, so you can easily remove the fudge. And if it's smaller, the fat will be a little thicker, but that's no problem. So I just pour it in here and level it. And now you can leave it as is, no problem, but I'll try to decorate it a bit. And I'll use some roasted chopped pistachios. some lyophilized raspberry and for a little kick some Maldon salt flakes. Put the tray in the fridge and leave it a few hours so it hardens. Then take it out, cut it and dig in. It's delicious, but uh, I recommend you keep it in the fridge because uh, at room temperature it becomes very soft and um, hard to manage. This was the recipe for today. Thank you for watching. Special thanks to the members on Patreon and the channel members here on YouTube for all their support. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.